Yo guys, this is Smith and welcome to the Ao Kuang Smite God Reveal. Ao Kuang. King of Dragons. I know, how cool is that? You know what isn't cool? Him, as a person. Like, like Ao Kuang, don't take it too personal, but you're fucking dick. Right, so Ao Kuang had total control over the eastern shores. Ao Kuang accepted sacrifices from these people if they wanted plenty of water, rain, and all that shit. I mean, that's fine. That's, that's something for something. He then got greedy as fuck and demanded even better sacrifices. But since they couldn't give him that, he fucking sent, like, tidal waves and tsunamis at them. You know, that's how life works. Like, if, if people don't give you what you want, then just, just kill them. Later on came Sun Wukong to his undersea palace. See Seeking a weapon, and Ao Kuang was all like, just take that Minecraft wooden sword over in that corner. Yeah, 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 that one. But Wukong didn't want that shit, so he took the Ruchi Jingu Bang. That's exactly how you pronounce it, just trust me in this one. This was an immense pillar that aided in controlling the tides. I don't, I don't think that's a euphemism, but... I'll, I'll make it one now. That's a weather changing deck. It was believed that none could lift this, but Wukong didn't give a fuck. He just picked it up and spun it around. It was, it was all cool. So Wukong then also demanded armor from Ao Kuang. And Ao Kuang was forced to supply it because, you know, he could he could lift that deck. He couldn't. And that's how Ao Kuang became Sun Wukong's bitch. Okay, now comes the part of the story where... Okay, just take a listen. Na Sha. Yes, that little girly prince guy, was playing in a stream and shook Ao Kuang's palace. Like, this is harmless enough. Nasha's just playing around, I don't know what he's doing. Who cares, he's a kid, come on. What Ao Kuang did was, sent a fucking scout to kill the child. I mean, who can blame him? He shook his palace, I would've done the same. But Nasha probably just used his ult on this fucker and, and killed this guy, so. Ao Kuang, dick move, by the way. You know what's even a more dick move? That next you send your fucking son to kill him. He just sends his son out, and the son dies, obviously. So not only is this guy an inspiration to everyone here, but his parenting skill is just a lot better as well. Ao Kuang then went to Nasha's father and threatened him. Ao Kuang, what are you, fucking 12? But Nasha came and made Ao Kuang his little bitch. Like, this 12 year old, that, yes, that one. He fucked up the Dragon King. So Ao Kuang, you're just, you, you're just a big asshole. Alright, that was it. So let's jump into his abilities. Ao Kuang's passive is called King's Sword. Ao Kuang's sword can hold up to three energy charges. Each time Ao Kuang casts an ability, an energy charge will be consumed, and that'll increase the damage of the ability. You know, 5%, that's not too bad. I, I can deal with this. If Ao Kuang is out of mana, he will then use these energy charges to cast abilities instead. Hey, that's pretty good. Ao Kuang's first ability is called Kagebunshin no Jutsu. Ao Kuang teleports forward into stealth, leaving behind a watery form of himself. In these five seconds of stealth, he can choose to detonate the watery form of himself and deal damage to nearby enemies, which will make him visible, but I mean, doing 290 plus 70% damage isn't bad. Ao Kuang's second ability is called Dragon Call. So this ability summons six dragons to his side. For every successful basic attack Ao Kuang makes, a dragon will dive to the target, dealing additional damage. Instead of basic attacking, he can also choose to shoot out these dragons, which will deal a lot of damage and slow enemies. But that's not what we're gonna look at right now. We're gonna look at this. Basically, each dragon does 95 plus 30% of your magical power. Bear in mind, his attack speed is 1.39 without any items. Meaning you can easily build this guy without any attack speed items and still be faster than every fucking other guard in the game. Okay, so if we say it's late game, we've got about 800 magical power. This means that one dragon will do 335 damage. We then say this times 6, and we get 2 2010. And this in itself is so fucking broken. But remember, this is only the ability attacks. Bear in mind, he also has to do six other basic attacks on top of this. So imagine if he buys Spear of Magus and Demonic Grip. And that means that not only will his basic attacks do more damage, but the dragon's damage will increase as well, which will easily result in about 4,000 damage. And it just fucking melts everyone. It doesn't matter what you are or who you are. Oof. This motherfucker. Okay, so his third ability is called Wild Storm. Ao Kuang unleashes a storm of lightning from his sword, damaging all enemies in front of him. It's like a little cone attack. It's it's not too big. Though, it does do 290 plus 40% of magical power. That's quite a lot. But now comes the part where it's Ao, Ao, Ao Kuang. <laughs> This hit is considered a basic attack, which will activate item effects. So we talked about Sol and how her 2 was OP back then, but Ao Kuang's 3 still does it. And also remember, because it's a basic attack, one of his dragons from Dragon Call will also apply on this attack. So in theory, let's see how much damage this can do. Imagine we have Demonic Grip, we have Polynomicon, we have Soul Reaver, we have Spear of Magus, and all these 4 items will proc on this. Polynomicon is a must-have item on this guy. It's fucking crazy how much damage it does. Then we got Soul Reaver, which will take 15% of the max HP. This ability alone will half hit someone. Now what you do is you press 2 before you use this, so an additional dragon will drop down on them. After this is done, you should definitely throw out the 5 remaining dragons, and you'll fucking 2 hit people. I'm not even joking, it's insane. Alright, so it's time for his ultimate. Ao Kuang's last ability is called King of the Eastern Seas. Ao Kuang grabs a single target, damaging and knocking them into the air. If the target is below a health threshold, Ao Kuang will then reveal his true form, becoming an airborne dragon 
weapon and executing them, restoring health. Okay, so just to clear this up, um, if an enemy guard has got 30% HP or less of his maximum HP, Ao Kuang can eat them and insta-kill them. On top of that though, he heals 30% of maximum health himself. What the fuck, man? But also, when he has eaten this person, he then stays in midair as a dragon and can choose wherever to go on the fucking map. Like, it's literally half the map you can fly. And it's instant, plus, it does 300 plus 50 50% of your magical power to land on someone with this ability and it's so easy to do. I love this ability so much. It's so awesome. Like, who doesn't want to be a dragon? Let's be honest. But that doesn't change the eternal pains I'm suffering from, so... Okay, it's, it's over now. Wait, what do you mean it's not over? Okay, let's take a look at some fighting scenarios. You're in a bad position and people want your booty. You can use your ultimate to throw people up in the air and buy yourself more time. And then use your one to be stealthy and just do some low-key things. Then you're getting out, but you're still getting attacked, so what to do now? Oh, I don't know. Maybe get a friend that can come and save you. Wait, is that max to the limit? Wait, he's, he's just saved me. He doesn't save people, what the fuck? Alright, so next one. You're looking for that Scotty booty, so you follow her. I don't know why I stalked her for that long, but that was kind of weird. <laughs> you then miss your ability and you got nothing to do. This fucking dog comes and attacks you. You don't know what to do. It's invincible. You just stop fucking stabbing it with the sword. Okay, Scotty, you're more OP than me. 2 HP, huh? I'm OP as fuck. And to end it all, this. No, that was, that was very hard to do. Alright, so in conclusion, our Kwang is a little bitch that needs a nerf. <laughs> Alright guys, so I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below to nerf, subscribe if you're new. Make sure to leave a comment of what god you want me to talk about next. And as always, my name is Smith, and thanks for watching. That's a weather change in deck.